bipolar junction transistor biasing in 10 simple easy steps this is the diagram for biasing a transistor you can have a look the register how it's uh, connected to the transistor and there is four resistors connected in the transistors we need to determine the value for this transistor and then how much the value for this resistor this resistor this resistors and re the emitter resistors we will find in 10 simple easy steps the values for these resistors and will be a proper biasing for this transistor I mentioned this three terminal transistor one terminal is collector and another base and another is emitter step number one choose the operating point for the transistor what it means it means the collector current VC the collector voltage and the power for the transistor is and the beta the beta you can get it from the data sheet in this example I assume beta is 50 and IC I assume 10 milliampere and VC this point the bolt is VC 10 volt the VC the collector voltage it should be half of the source voltage to get it proper amplification the input signal to the output the our source voltage is 20 volt this is the operating for point for a transistor Step number two, assume a value for VE. This is VE. We just assume 2.5 volt. This value needs for stabilizing the transistors biasing to get the output more strong strength. We need some voltage. In this emitter section so we put 2.5 volt number three we assume ie this current and this current is equivalent when the transistor beta is higher our transistor beta is 50 so it's more than one so we can assume IE and IC is equivalent step number four now we need to calculate the value for RE from this equation we can easily calculate the value for RE from this equation because we know what is VE 2.5 volt we assume in the previous steps and IE we also know from here IC because it is equivalent IE equivalent to IC so from this equation we easily calculate RE is 250 ohm step number five we want to calculate RC the value of collector register which is very responsible for this much current going through this transistor so from this equation we can easily calculate RC RC is this is the whole length of voltage is VCC you know that from this VCC we just deducted deducted this much value this much value and we divided by the how much current is flowing through 
divided by that value and we can find the RC. Now we can get RC 1 kilo ohm. Step number 6. We know from the equation of beta equal to collector current divided by base current. This is the very basic equation and uh, as we know the transistor beta equal to 50 from uh, in this example, I just assumed 50, but you can find the value for beta from the data sheet. So from this equation, you can get the bit base current for this transistor. So in this case, the base current is 2. Point, sorry, point 0.2 milliampere. Number seven, knowing V E we know VE knowing V V E what is V V E this is a good question V E is the 0.7 volt for silicon because if the transistor made by silicon this is NPN in this junction 0.7 volt is default so V V E is default 0.7 volt and we know v v e this 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 voltage we just assume assume 2.5 volt in previous steps so we calculate v v is 2 3.2 volt number eight assume a value for ibb how much current will will flow in this way so we just assume that 1.5 milliampere little bit larger value is better result so we just assume 1.5 milliampere is is totally depends on the designer step number nine just we want to calculate the value for r1 from this equation so v v b the base voltage the base voltage this base voltage we know this base voltage is 3.2 volt we calculated this in previous steps and ibb how much current we want to get it flow this way so we want to get it flow 1.5 milliampere so from this equation we can easily calculate r1 which is 2.133 step number 10 which is the last step for this biasing so we want to calculate the r2 the value of r2 from this equation we can easily calculate the value of r2 ivv this is the ivv this is ivv and plus ib this is ib so from this equation we can easily calculate the value of r2 so after finding out all those values i just put those values in this diagram like for r1 i put 2.2 k but I mentioned that you couldn't find a value of R1 2.133 in our practical life. But you can find 2.2 kilo ohm for a resistor. That's why I put 2.2 kilo ohm for R1. Similarly, for R2, 10K, and for RE, is 240 instead of 250. And RC is 1K, you can find it easily in our practical life. And VCC is the power source, so 20 volt of the power source. That's it, the transistor biasing is finished. I hope you enjoy this video. If you like this video, please subscribe and share it. To get the next update, please press the bell icon. 
Thank you.